So uh, let's start with Switch. What did they do now, and why is it annoying? Actually, I've, I know the answer to that, because I got <laughs> I got one of the emails. They did a big DMCA sweep. So if you don't know what that is, that's kind of copyright claimed um, s- clips, videos, past streams where any copyright music was played. But it could also be stuff where they had already muted it, and um, you'd been flagged months and months ago. In my case, I had deleted tons and tons of clips already trying to avoid this, and I still got a message saying, hey, yeah, we found a clip that's got some uh, copyright music. We deleted it, but if it happens again, you're in trouble. So at this mm-hmm. point, I, I think I'm at the point where, you know, they deleted a lot of stuff for me, but I, I assume I should just delete all my old clips. But Well, first of all, Mike, me and True Vanguard are apparently really, really quiet, and no one can hear us, so let's Wait, right? jack that audio up. Testies one two three. Oh, we're testing again, gamers. I mean, it's a, it looks exactly the same on my uh, on oh, my. This s- is this is classic, you know, st- streamer stuff where it just <laughs> doesn't work randomly for like yeah. no reason. Yeah, out of the blue, it's like yeah, I just don't feel like cooperating today. So this is kind of an interesting thing because YouTube went through this exact same thing, uh, not that long, like well, actually long ago, but a couple years ago. YouTube went through this. YouTube uh, and YouTube creators had these same DMCA issues. And the the thing is, like, everyone kind of knew that this was coming to Twitch, but, like, everyone, and especially Twitch, just pretended, like, just ignored it. Like, this, what you could see this issue coming. Yeah. And everyone was just, you know, had to deal with it. You know, and it's a scary thing because Twitch is... um notoriously bad at preparing its creators for bad news or quantifying and qualifying that bad news. So it's it's really challenging as a creator on that platform to know what you've done wrong and how to fix it. And so when you get this email out of the blue, especially if you're a creator who's like really on the grind, maybe you just made some good strides, maybe you just hit a, a, a milestone, just got partnered, and then suddenly you get hit with one of these things. It can be a really scary thing. You're like, oh no, what, is, what does this mean? What's on the line for me? And there's really... There's really not a lot of de-escalation on their part. There was no pre-warning like, hey, you guys, just a blast to all of our creators out there. There's some stuff going on DMC related behind the scenes, and there may be a wave of emails that come out. This is what it means. Don't panic. Here's what you need to do. Just anything to prepare people for that. But when it comes out of the blue, just this random left hook, man, it's it's a real challenge for creators. It can be a scary thing. Yep. Yep. And, oh, my God. But again, like, this wasn't you could you it's not like this came out of absolutely nowhere i saw a funny tweet from someone that's like you know twitch streamers plays copyright content gets copyright struck and it's a a surprise pikachu face where it's like but but the thing is the the creators have always just been just been streaming and playing it and there's been no issues and then like this is more on twitch just pretending that this wasn't an issue they're just like We'll, we'll see what happens and then now mm-hmm. they're like under massive legal pressure and now they're like taking these very aggressive steps and this is just like the worst approach like instead of warning people instead of telling people years ago hey cool it with the copyright stuff you know uh instead it's probably a smart idea to uh, find uh people that you vibe with that have copyright free music they didn't do any of this they were just like we'll get, we'll cross this bridge when we come to it and then this is them crossing the bridge, which is deleting everyone's content. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The thing like, is, always like... People, people are mass deleting all their VODs. Vo- like, they're yeah. gone. I'm, that's what I'm probably going to do, because I don't even know which ones they are. It could be from, like, five years ago. Right. Like, some yeah. random clip. And the other thing, too, is, like, some games, like, they use copyright music in... Yep. In, like, the video. Like, in the, in the movie, or, the like, the cutscenes, or, or, or in the, the radio of the car, uh, mm-hmm. in, the, in the final uh, credits... Right, Final Fantasy uh, has you know the uh, the song by Florence and the Machine or Florence and uh, whatever. Yeah, Florence, but yeah, yeah, and, and like that that song would get the yeah, nav just like that and muted, and it's like mm-hmm. so I can't play a game, I can't have the the cinematic experience, I can't have the you know the intended emotions of that game because there's a copyright song in it. Screw that. That's a, like that's a joke. Yeah. I remember yeah, yeah. when a lot of GTA players ran into that issue because GTA uh, Online has like all these different radio stations. You know, they're jamming to Phil Collins while you're flying a helicopter. Suddenly you get DMCA'd. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, and that's the thing. It's like because a lot of people are like, well, just you should know by now. Just don't don't play copyrighted music on a stream. Sometimes it's like it's unavoidable stuff you didn't see coming. Um, or and this is another thing I've seen. I've seen content creators get blasted by this before. It's kind of a funny situation. A lot of content creators will do Spotify playlists. Spotify has a lot of copyright free music, right? And so they will. There's a couple of scenarios here. They'll be playing a copyright free playlist, but then suddenly uh, one day one of the artists on that playlist might decide that one of their tracks is going to go through the copyright process. Bam! Now suddenly a track that you have been using for maybe six months in your playlist is now suddenly copyrighted and then back, you know, all the way back six months, it's getting flagged now. And so you had done everything right, but now you're retroactively getting punished for something that was fine back then, but it's now no longer. Another issue that people have had with Spotify is it auto plays when it gets to the end of a playlist, it'll be like, well, we're just going to keep playing music. That's sort of the same genre. And it'll just move on to copyrighted music. And so if you don't like have that setting turned off, some content creators have been hit by that too. What a lot of the copyright free stuff is like, is like chill step. And so like, I'm not going to hear, I'm not going to hear a difference. Like, okay, that piano key was a little different. Like, oh, that's, that's not in this playlist of 600 copyright free songs. Like you're never going to know that. It's also a question of like, there's a larger question here where it's is copyright law too intense like it was started when you know all the stuff was just coming out and you know everyone was downloading everything on limewire and getting 45 viruses on their mom's computer right and like <laughs> that's where it started but like right now it's kind of an interesting thing because it's like yeah all right i'm streaming and i'm playing a copyright like song right is that taking away from the artist's revenue at, at all and i i honestly think you could make the argument no like n- in fact, it's only ever going to be neutral or positive because then people are going to go and get that song. Yeah, like that's you, right. they're there watching you play a game. They're like no one unless you're streaming and it's like blank, and and mm. you're not adding anything and it's just playing music as a way to get around getting a Spotify um you know membership. Unless you're doing that, like again, it, it doesn't hurt artists at all. And so these overzealous companies, like I think honestly, like Twitch could challenge this they just don't want to because it's not worth their time you know if only they were connected with a company that that owns some record labels and had (laughs) access to a huge database of music if only like maybe someone like amazon or something i don't know that would be cool that's actually that like think about how crazy that is amazon owns twitch (laughs) and they have like unlimited money and unlimited resources and they just keep letting this crap slide like do they care or is Jeff Bezos just out to lunch, bro? He doesn't care about all these <laughs> companies. He doesn't even know he owns Twitch, dude. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's crazy because it's it's like right there. You know, they've they've got that access to the to the funds. They've got you know, there's Amazon Music and TV and all this stuff. It's gonna be like the boys season four comes out and it's like oh <laughs> copyright claim because the trailer played and it's like bro, like what are you doing? They did. Oh. oh my gosh. And 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 again, but like like we talked about earlier the problem is that they waited until the last minute and now like you said it's like there's they don't tell you like think about this you're a creator maybe you even stopped using copyright music but like tv said maybe in a game it it played whatever Mm -hmm. they tell you you have copyright stuff they don't even tell you where it is they They just said uh, we deleted it it's like okay well then how like (sighs) when was this about was it four years ago and then i think i'm good like i don't know you have no idea. So there's like just mass panic and confusion where it's like, yeah, it's like you're going to get sued by Sony unless you delete it, but we're not going to tell you where it is. Like, you're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> just deleting like, everything. Like, I don't care. Throw it out. <laughs> dude, and that's, that, that's, that's the sad reality is people are just like mass deleting all their, yeah. like their life's work. They're just mass deleting it. Right. And, uh, and, and including stuff that doesn't, isn't infringing anything. They're just scared and they're just deleting it. And that's yeah. like, you know, th- some of those clips are the reason why some people blow up. Like the clip mm-hmm. of uh, of Tifu beating Ninja in a one v one. That's probably the reason Tifu blew up as so much in Fortnite. He's amazing, absolutely. But that clip getting shared, and it's like, oh, but he had copyright music. Can't have that clip that has millions of yeah. views, right? Yeah. The clip seen around the world in the Fortnite community wouldn't exist because, like, a, a bit of a song played. You know, because an ad played yeah. at the beginning of a YouTube video or something. You know, yeah, in they, his playlist. They, 
And that's bad for Twitch. That's why Twitch needs to actually try to stand up. Like Twitch has again unlimited funding. We're like unlimited. Yeah. They're like if they actually use some of their resources and use some of their lawyers and kind of challenge this, they could really improve the platform. But they never do because it's Twitch and they provide us with content every week because they have, have absolute morons running the show. <laughs> it's, I love it, dude. Makes it easy for us. 